I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, I'm Devin Newby. And I'm Casey Cobb. And today is Monday, March 31st. Today is the last day of March and the first day of fourth quarter. We're getting a review of the ice skating show today, plus lots of info about sports. But first, let's talk about voting. Tomorrow's election day in Wisconsin. Remember, all you first-time voters, get out there and get involved tomorrow. Document that participation in our Picture at the Polls contest. Send those selfies to P.S. Rickon. Remember, democracy is not a spectator sport. Get involved today. But first, let me take a selfie. And here's some more announcements from Social Studies. Come and participate in the American Government Test starting tomorrow. The test is running during focus in room 226. This is an online test, so make sure you have your laptops. You're going to need it. We will run the test this week on Thursday, Wednesday, and Tuesday to, during focus time. See P.S. Ricken if you want some study materials or have any questions. All right, let's move on to some sports-related announcements. The athletic banquet for all WIAA sport athletes will be held on May 21st from 6 to 9 p.m. in the West Gym. If you're a female athlete, plan to go to an informational meeting with coaches Janky and Ruffholm on Tuesday, April 1st in the West Gym. Check in with your advisor with positive attendance, then report to West... <laughs> then report to the <laughs> West Gym. This is from Mr. Janky. Girls interested in the Summer Volleyball League opportunities, check in with Coach Hodge. Registration forms are available in her room. That's 205. All forms and money need to be turned in to Coach Hodge by Wednesday, April 9th, if you like to participate. So, it's the first day of the fourth quarter, right? It's that time of year. That's awesome. It's almost beautiful outside. Summer is coming. And the procrastination levels are as high as ever. We've got a video on not what to do this quarter, but we'll get to it later. I'm just kidding. We'll do it right now. Gmail. Gmail. Email. of fun tonight, Kyla is going to have to make up for the procrastinating. Oh, Kyla. S silly Kyla. Avoid the hassle. Don't procrastinate like me, Devin Newby. Okay. Next up, a message for our student senators. Your meeting has been rescheduled for tomorrow during focus. 
please be there or be square. Devin, did you know that today's Bragg's tonight? Duh, Casey. It's at 5 p.m. in the LMC. Everyone's going to be talking about plastic in the oceans, solar panels on buildings, fishing, and biodiesel mechanics, and the importance of appreciation of our environment and green concepts in the world. Ask Ms. McNamara if you have any questions or attend tonight to learn more. That's it. Good luck to the FCCLA students that are competing today. We're leaving you with a video by Ashley Durst and the lunch menu. Show practice starts about a month before the show, so we, uh, the end of February and then all through March, we practice. And we usually have two to three practices a week, one practice per, or per number you're in. So maybe like solos and duets will practice twice a week and the other numbers usually have one practice a week, but you're still there two to three days a week anyways preparing. And then the week of the show, we are basically there every single day running through all of our numbers and doing any last minute practice that we need. I think the time that we put in is worth it because it's really fun and even though it takes up so much time, it's worth it because you just have fun when you go out there and do it. The time we put into the show is definitely worth it because the show is always so much fun with all of your friends and everything you do and then just demonstrating what you can do. It's always stressful, but it's worth it. I think that all the time I put in the show is Can you find me someone to love? Somebody, somebody, somebody. Can anybody find me?